A new feature in 3D Coat as of build 4.9.49 is the addition of keyboard shortcuts for the transform tool in 3D Coat's Sculpt and Retopo workspaces. In the adjust section of the tool panel, I'll go to the transform tool. You can pick by click or hover over the object that you want to select and then hit the H key and that will automatically select that object. You'll notice that all of the different elements are visible for the transform tool. Some artists may not prefer to have it this way and instead they want to keep it more minimalistic. To do that, we can go to the tool options panel and we can select the ones that we want to utilize or we can use the hotkeys which are now assigned to the QWER format. You can change these now. They are no longer hard-coded. If you want to change them to something else that fits the workflow you may be used to in your 3D application, you can do so by hovering over the option and then hitting the end key on your keyboard. That's E-N-D. Then hit the hotkey you want to assign it to. Again, you can select them here or use hotkeys for that. The Q is assigned to all controls. In other words, showing everything. You can see here you have the global scale, the move along, the individual axes. You can click on the stem and it will move it. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to click on that and I can move it. So I'll undo. And you don't necessarily have to get right on it. You can actually be a little bit off of the stem. That's also a new change. Then you have the 2D axis scale. So it will scale along two different axes. Once you rotate to where you are facing a different axis, you can see how that will change as well. Let me use the W key to select translate or move. Now that is all that I'm seeing on the gizmo. And again, you can use your different hotkeys. Let's say the E key for rotate. You can see just the rotation handles are visible. The translate widgets you will still see because those indicate where your axes are. But outside of that, the only widgets that are available are the rotate widgets. This one is rotate and screen space, and these are rotate along a specific axis. And you can see what axis they are because they're color coded. So that would be the Y axis rotation. And don't forget, you can always enter a numeric value, left mouse click and hold on a widget, and then hitting the space bar. Let's try 45. I'll undo. So those are the new changes to the transform tool in 3D Coat in recent builds. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.